and the insidious creep of racist co-governance that has spread through legislation and the public sector. Everywhere. All the way to the real estate licensing provisions. Everywhere. Manipulated. No manifesto coverage. No campaign. Just under the radar. Dirt of this type. And what were the media saying about it? <laughs> Deafening zero. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we're never going to make it out of this demise if we tolerate that sort of behaviour. Over and over again. Or when you have the audacity to say there's something dramatically wrong here, not just about the policy but about their lack of warning, they shout racist. Not just ideological theory, it was race-based theory. Where some people's DNA made them, sadly, according to these people, and condoned by their cultural fellow travellers, their DNA made them somehow better than others. I've seen that sort of philosophy before. I saw it in Nazi Germany. We all did. We've seen it elsewhere around the world in the horrors of history. But here, right in our country, tolerated by people whose job was to keep the system honest, this happened. Where some people's DNA made them better than others. The left had simply run roughshod over society and the people of New Zealand with ideas and plans they had never, ever campaigned on. The Māori genetic makeup is stronger than others. Well, it's stronger than me, and I've got a whole lot of genetics in me. That was on your website. Is that racist? Why? How can it be racist when you're trying to empower people that are climbing out from the bottom of the bonnet of co colonial violence for the last 183 years? How is that racist? Uh, I should when all know, you're doing I is trying know, to build your people I should know that statement has been removed. It is a known fact that the Māori genetic makeup is stronger than others. It was on your sport policy on, on, on your website. Well, but I, when you think about the language yeah. you've just criticised and you compare that with the language on your own website, well, can you acknowledge that perhaps your language yeah, has contributed to these that, tensions? How, did that, well, how was that imposed on anybody else? We're talking to ourselves. You're talking to everyone when you publish it on a website, are we? Last year, Waititi, the Māori MP, said that Māori had superior DNA. The moment you say that, you're on your way to the KKK, you're on to elitism, you're on to prejudice, and you're on to awful consequences. Nobody in the mainstream media called him out. I'm calling him out. In the speech yesterday, I'm calling him out. And what happens? The woke mainstream media go rushing off to try and find somebody who's offended. But what did they tell the Jewish community? What prompted me to say that? Because the moment you say that someone's DNA is superior to someone else, you can treat them differently and yeah. worse. I think the political context of your comments yesterday were clear, Mr. Peters. And I think, of course... It has been willfully misinterpreted uh, by my, my I, I, colleagues, I suppose, in the news media. Good, good evening. Winston Peters has ramped up the rhetoric against the previous government, comparing its approach to co-governance to Nazi Germany and the Holocaust. This is, this is pretty normal media behaviour. You focus on one sentence and not on the, the overall context of what was being I, said. I mean, I didn't say it. The Deputy Prime Minister, one of the leaders of this country, compared co-governance to the mass murder of six no, million no, people. No, 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 no. What he, what he said was the, the distinction is about people being treated differently because of their race. I think what you need to do is to sit down and take the comments as a whole, and that is what the media are not doing. It's not us, Andy. The Holocaust Centre literally says they are offensive. Um, Anna, it is you. Sorry. It I is. mean, I'm not a member of the Holocaust Centre. I'm not a spokesperson for them. No, no, but it is the media who are focused on one line out of an hour long speech. You must be disappointed then that Winston Peters brought up the comment that has got all the attention because he didn't need to if the rest of his speech I, was so important. Anna, you're absolutely right. I'm really disappointed. But not in Winston. It's in the focus that you guys collectively are making on that one line out of an hour long speech. Well, Winston Peters actually went off script today when he made those comments. Media was sent a copy of his speech as he was making it, and absolutely nowhere in it did it contain any, any references to comparing Labour's co governance to the Holocaust. Any criticism of you uh, becomes a lead story, and the Nazi thing all, was all over the media yesterday, wasn't it? It, well, it is quite amazing. And I'm talking to these media people saying, when why did he make that awful racist statement about being superior DNA? What did you do? 
like the lambs you are, compliant in the extreme, nothing. Well, I'm calling it out as racist. Mm. I'm telling you where that goes to. I've seen international circumstances of awful tragedy and death and in, in, in humanity. Just awful. Um, my view is everybody in, this, everybody in this country should be equal no matter who they are.